Sometimes Premiere just doesn't run hand in hand with you. It feels like when you want to go left, Premiere wants to go right. This will really hold you back as a creator, which is why I have seven Premiere editing hacks that will make your life a lot easier. Number one. So here you can see a clip that I sped up a little. The footage is pretty shaky, so I'm trying to use the warp stabilizer to stabilize my footage. Oh, there it is. In Premiere, you can't use the warp stabilizer on a clip that sped up or slowed down. However, there is a little workaround. Next time, add a warp stabilizer before adjusting the speed of your clip. Once it's done stabilizing, right click your clip and choose nest. If you now grab the rate stretch tool, you can speed up or slow down your clip as much as you want. Number two, remember the days where we had to mess around with these weird audio transitions. We couldn't really do much besides adding fades to our music. Now, if you update to the beta version of Premiere, you can actually get a taste of the brand new audio fade curves. These are so much more flexible and I can't wait until they're at the official version. You can select the corner of the fade and make it longer or shorter. If you hold down shift, you're only adjusting the side you're dragging on. Besides moving left or right, you can now move up and down to adjust the fade curvature. This will allow you to create much better audio transitions, almost like in a DAW. Now, speaking of audio, in trick number three, I wanted to show you the AI voice enhancer. Up until now, the built-in voice enhancer didn't really work well, but since the latest update, it will do wonders to your speech clips. So this is my speech clip, and as you can see, Premiere automatically noticed it's a voice clip. By clicking this speech icon, the essential sound panel will open up automatically. In here, you can have all sorts of settings. Now, this is the magic button you're looking for. Click on Enhance and let it do its thing. Now, with the mix amount, you can adjust the balance between the original sound and the enhanced sound. This makes your speech sound amazing, which is exactly what you need if you want your audience to keep watching. Speaking of keeping your audience interested, number four, you should really focus on making your viewers feel like they're at home. To do that, you can use recognizable elements in your videos. An absolute brilliant way to do this is by using mainstream music, like for example, Light Switch from Charlie Puth. The audience will feel safe and familiar when watching your content. But I already know what you're thinking. What about copyright? You don't need to worry about that at all, because Licked, the sponsor of today's video, has got your back. Licked can hook you up with a wide range of over a million mainstream tracks and over 100,000 stock tracks, while being protected of copyright strikes and not having to worry about demonetization. That's right, you can keep your ad revenue. Using mainstream music will help you connect to your audience on a much deeper level. It will lead to a better retention because people simply want to stick around longer. They feel like they're at home. The YouTube algorithm will also push your content to bigger audiences, helping your channel grow. Now, because of Lick's huge catalog, us content creators and filmmakers can find the special tailored piece of music that we need. You can even use songs from James Young, Macklemore, Coldplay, or Louis Capal. It's truly incredible how much using mainstream tracks will enhance your content. So find out for yourself and sign up now. You will receive an incredible 14 days of free stock music and a massive 50% off your first mainstream track. So if you're curious about Licked and how it can change your content creation, click the link down below to redeem your discount. It's time for trick number five. As a content creator, you want to save time. Well, ever since the latest update, you can export your videos directly to TikTok. If you love making short form content, I can't see why you wouldn't use this. All you need to do is go to the export window and go to publish. In here, you can enable TikTok or other social media platforms. Next, you can choose if you want to instantly publish it or if you want to save it as a draft. That way, it's on your TikTok account, but you can publish it whenever you want. You can even type in the video caption and other settings as well. Man, this is actually a lot easier now. Who knows, maybe I'll start making short form Premiere tutorials again. Trick number six already. This one is gold, guys. As you might know, when you use reverb on your clip, the reverb will end at the same time as your clip. Now, in 99% of times, you want the reverb to continue. Let me show you my workaround. Let's say you want to use reverb to fade out this music. Then simply set a cut where you want the music to end, perhaps on the last beat or something. Then extend the clip for as long as you want the reverb to last. Now, on your clip, go to the moment where the fade out will start. Hold down control and click the audio volume control to create a keyframe. Then create another one next to it. Click and drag the second one all the way down and now the music will end harshly. But don't worry, that's where the reverb will come in. Simply find the convolution reverb in the effects library and drag it on your clip. In the effect controls, click on edit to open it up. From the preset list, choose hall. And that's all to it. There you go. 
Trick number seven saved my life a lot. I actually have a workspace preset for when I'm recording my screen for you guys. Sometimes I accidentally move around a window and that's a pain for me in post. If I don't have the right workspace when recording, my presets won't work and then Premiere will look like this. Luckily, when I accidentally mess up my workspace, I just have to push one button and my entire workspace will reset to its original recording preset. To do this yourself, you can reset your workspace by going to Window, Workspaces and then reset the saved layout. Now, if you want to be cool like me and push a button, open up the edit menu and find keyboard shortcuts. Then in here, type in reset to save layout. Click the shortcut space and type in whatever you want. I have mine on numpad number 9. Trick number 8 will help you run Premiere so much faster. So to continue the lesson, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.